Well, hello again, my fellow e-bike friends, and welcome back to another episode of Electrified Reviews. For today's review, we've got the Maxfoot MF30 Fat Tire Electric Trike, and I'm going to be completely upfront here and just let you know we had an absolute blast filming this review. When it comes to functionality, it's hard to beat the MF30 and just trikes in general. This fat tire ride has a front basket, a spacious rear rack, and a huge payload capacity of 450 pounds. And it's got the power to pull it and the range to make it matter. Honestly, if we had more time with the MF30, we would definitely put a cooler in the back and picnic at the nearest lake. The MF30 has a starting price of $2,599 USD and comes in one color, black. It's a fairly hefty price tag, but it's not surprising given this is an electric trike. These things just cost more and there's really no way around it. The good news is Maxfoot offers financing. They've also got a one year warranty and free shipping to the contiguous United States. So thumbs up Maxfoot. Right then, let's dive into the specs. The Bafang 750 nominal watt front wheel hub motor is extremely powerful. It's also got a tire melting 85 newton meters of torque on tap. And look, since this motor is in the front wheel, there is definitely going to be some wheel slip from time to time, especially when you're going uphill on loose terrain. This is actually something we did notice a little bit during testing, but it was pretty minimal. This monster motor will bring the MF30 up to a top speed of at least 20 miles per hour with the throttle or cadence sensing pedal assist. But at those speeds, this three wheeler is going to become a two wheeler with the slightest turn. Look, the MF30, like all trikes, is the absolute essence of duality. At slow speeds, this three wheeler is as stable as an aircraft carrier, except <laughs> unlike an aircraft carrier, the MF30 can perform some seriously tight maneuvers. It's got a turning radius like a top. It makes navigating crowded spaces delightfully easy. But take a few turns while riding above 12 miles per hour and you'll quickly discover this three wheeler has a tendency to become a two wheeler. It's tippy is what I'm saying. Again, this is perfectly normal for trikes and if you've ever ridden one, you know exactly what I'm talking about here, but it's worth mentioning for the uninitiated. When it comes to big heavy trikes, battery size matters and Maxfoot didn't skimp. The MF30 is equipped with a 48 volt, 16 amp hour battery that offers an estimated max range of 65 miles in the lowest pedal assist setting. Here's the deal. Just like with cars, e-bike, or I guess e-trike max range estimates are heavily impacted by at least several different variables like rider weight, how much gear is loaded in that massive rear rack and front basket, steep hills, all that good stuff. A good rule of thumb when estimating real world max range is to cut the estimated max range in half. This is a silverfish style battery, by the way, which means it's located behind the seat post, which has to be completely removed in order to take the battery out. Not really a deal breaker or anything, but it does add a few extra steps to the process. The upside with this battery, besides its huge capacity, is the location. With e-bikes that have the hub motor and the rear wheel, silverfish style batteries can make the ride back heavy. With the MF30, since the hub motor is in the front wheel, it actually balances it out quite nicely. Speaking of the seat, it's comfy. The backrest is a nice touch and it's got some good give to it too. The MF30 also has front suspension and three big old four inch fat tires with a lot of air inside. This makes for a soft ride on pavement and it offers enough suspension for some light trail use. But again, trikes are tippy, so stick to graded trails if you can. When it comes to stopping power, the MF30 has mechanical disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors in the front and both rear wheels for a total of three disc brakes instead of the normal two. But even with that extra disc brake, the stopping power here is just a little underwhelming and I think hydraulic disc brakes would have been a better choice. On the plus side, these brakes do have motor inhibitors built in which instantly cuts power to the motor whenever the brake levers are activated. This is a hugely important safety feature and we are happy to see Maxfoot using it here. When the MF30 is loaded to the hilt, you'll appreciate the Shimano Tourney 7-speed derailleur. In the lowest gear and the highest pedal assist mode, there's really no hill the MF30 can't conquer. 
Like most trikes, the derailleur is located beneath the frame and hangs pretty low to the ground. Keep this in mind for trail riding as the derailleur may be more prone to strikes. On the electrical side of things, we've got an integrated headlight and taillight, which helps to increase visibility in low light conditions. Another excellent safety feature. On the adjustable swept back handlebars, we've got the display, the independent button pad, and the throttle, which I am happy to report is live from zero miles per hour. All in all, the MF30 is an excellent trike at a pretty fair price point, and especially given that we've got that four month financing option, it's a pretty good deal overall. All right, awesome peeps. That is it for the review of the Maxfoot MF30 Fat Tire Electric Trike review. Now let's take it out for a ride. Thank <music> you.